They watch over our communities. They work to keep our streets safe. They answer our calls for help in times of danger and distress. Whether they're preventing, detecting, responding to, or investigating crime, every day, our police officers, detectives, investigators, and specialist units serve the cause of law, order, and justice. In their noble duty and dedication to the greater good, our police officers willingly put themselves in harm's way to help their fellow citizens. This year, as tragedy unfolded at Westfield Bondi Junction on the afternoon of Saturday, 13 April, we were reminded of the virtues that our police officers embody and exemplify. Commitment, courage, concern, compassion, and composure. New South Wales Police Inspector, Amy Scott, ran towards danger. She brought to an end one man's murderous rampage. In neutralising the assailant, the female police officer saved countless other lives. Amy Scott, like her brothers and sisters in blue, always put the safety of their fellow Australians ahead of their own. The cost of confronting criminals and of jumping into jeopardy can often be the police officer's own life. Some 826 police officers have been killed in the line of duty in jurisdictions around our country since 1803. Every year, on 29 September, we pay tribute to those officers who gave their lives while serving and protecting. Every year, on 29th of September, we also recommit to providing solace and support to the partners, children, families and colleagues of our fallen officers, including, of course, those whose stoicism often conceals an enduring sorrow and suffering despite the passing of years. National Police Remembrance Day was first observed on this day in 1989, coinciding with the feast day of St. Michael the Archangel, the patron saint of police officers. In that same year, New South Wales Constable Alan McQueen was one of 13 officers killed on the job in a horror year for our police forces. As the 26-year-old constable and his 19-year-old junior partner attempted to detain a car thief in Woolloomooloo, the offender produced a concealed gun and shot both officers. Despite their injuries, the officers gave chase. Constable McQueen died days later of his chest wounds and was awarded the Star of Courage. It was reported that 300 family and friends and some 300 fellow officers attended Constable McQueen's funeral. Among the congregation was a local townswoman, Mrs Val Studdard, who had not met Alan but attended the service out of respect for his duty and his valiant deeds. Her words that day capture the importance of the work that our police officers do every day. She said, if we don't have law and order, we have nothing. On behalf of the coalition, I pay my respects to all of our fallen police officers on this, their Remembrance Day. And I express my thanks to all those sworn to protect and to serve our community and our great country.